Okay, so check this out. So I'm sitting at my desk the other day, I'm working on a video edit, I'm kind of spacing off, and I looked at the painting that's next to me on my wall, and I thought, man, I really love that painting. Then I looked down at my watch to see the time, and I thought, I really love this watch. So that got me thinking about making this video to talk about the things that I'm currently super into. So if you're curious about my current obsessions, please stay tuned. Okay, welcome to my channel, and as always, I'm happy that you're here. So right off the top, this video is not sponsored by anyone at all. I just thought it would be kind of fun to give you guys a little glimpse into my life and into some of the things that I'm really enjoying right now. I will try to put some links down in the description to some of these items, just in case you're interested in checking them out for yourself. Okay, the first thing, and of course I already mentioned it, but it's this painting of what I think is supposed to be like a Williams F1 car but I actually like the fact that it's not branded. Um, I bought this on a cruise ship like 15 years ago. I think it was a Caribbean cruise that we were on at the time. But anyway, they have those art auctions on board and of course I bought this. It wasn't expensive, it was like maybe a hundred bucks or so, but I liked it then and I still love it now. It's a nice reminder for me of my former racing career and it also represents the pinnacle of motorsport and competing at the highest level of competition, which is something that I absolutely respect. It also represents, at least for me anyway, that hard work, dedication, and focus pays off, and that's what I try to do every single day. The next thing is this Orient watch. I wear this thing almost every single day, and I have to tell myself to wear something else from time to time. This thing is incredibly good looking, in my opinion, and durable because I'm always smacking this thing into doorknobs. I cringe every time that happens, but it never gets damaged. I love the fact that it glows in the dark and the loom on this thing is incredible. So if you're looking for an incredible watch that looks a lot more expensive than it is, I'll leave a link to it on Amazon down below. Next are these gray suede Chelsea boots. I've been wanting this pair for a very long time and I was finally able to pick them up recently. The problem is though, even though Halloween is next week, it's still 90 degrees where I live in Southern California. So it's a little hard to wear boots right now. But I'm telling you, once it cools off a little bit, you can be sure that I'll be wearing these things every chance I get. Okay, this next one, if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you probably knew this might be in this video, but it's these Knit Blazers from John Henrik. Again, not sponsored, but I love their stuff. Their sweaters are amazing, their shirts are amazing, their new chinos are amazing, but these Knit Blazers are just next level for me. I'm very casual most of the time, but wearing this, Feels like I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but it looks super nice, right? It's perfect with jeans or chinos. I own four of these things and I'm obsessed. Okay, I will admit this next one might seem a little weird, but this, this pillow, I have to sleep with this pillow. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be this pillow, but a pillow with the exact shape, thickness, density, and softness, because I'm a side and stomach sleeper, right? So in order for my back not to get too pissed off, I snuggle up with this thing and it helps keep my back happy. Am I the only one who uses a snuggle pillow? Let me know down in the comments, come on. Next, another weird one I know, but it's this pop socket for my phone. I resisted the pop socket for the longest time and thought it was stupid and ridiculous. Right up until the moment that I actually used one for a few minutes and then went back to not having it. Game changer. I haven't dropped my phone since having this thing and it's just so stable and secure feeling in my hands, especially when using my phone one-handed. It can also be used as a kickstand to watch videos, but obviously it does add a little more bulk, but the trade-off is totally worth it for me. If you've never tried one, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Okay, the next one isn't very cheap, but it's Creed Aventus. I absolutely love this fragrance, and I would probably wear this every single day, but the problem is this is really expensive. I even cheaped out and bought this smaller bottle for 280 bucks. Not only that, but I drove an hour away to Palm Springs to buy it because there's no stores anywhere near me that carry this. Anyway, I love this stuff, as do a lot of people. Great compliments with this one. And if I could only have one fragrance for the rest of my life, this might be it. You know, it's the small things that if you strip everything else away, those are the things that make me happy. I'm a pretty simple guy, and this is my simple, slim, everyday wallet I love this thing. I've talked about it before, and like I've always said, it's gonna take something pretty special to replace this thing. I've had it for so long, I don't even remember where I got it, but I think it's one of those inserts, right? Those removable inserts that you put in a standard billfold. It's got a place for my license, it's got a place for cards and cash, and that's all I ever need. 
just so thin it can go front pocket or back pocket. I love this thing. Okay, I don't have this next one with me at the moment, but it's the roller suitcase from Carl Friedrich. If I'm traveling somewhere and I can make everything fit, this is definitely the suitcase I'm using. I've got some really cool leather duffel bags as well, and I do use those a lot too, but this one, it's just a perfect size. The wheels are incredible. It's not too heavy, but it's also durable. It's got a USB port for charging my phone if necessary. I have made a video about this a few months ago, and it's truly an amazing suitcase for me. The last item is this remote control window shade in my bedroom. This was not cheap, but it's so cool. So I tell this story all the time, but having lived in Seattle my entire life, I always loved going to visit my father who retired in Arizona. And I remember staying with him and always waking up every single day to blue sky and sunshine. And I would think to myself like, how bad can your day be when you wake up to this beautiful blue sky and sunshine every single day? So when I moved to Southern California a couple years ago, I didn't want any dark curtains or blinds in my bedroom because I wanted to wake up and experience that same feeling every single day. I'm telling you, it's a real thing for me. There's a lot of people who grew up in Southern California or other places that have a lot of sunshine that don't really understand that. But not having the sunshine your whole life and then having it like I do now, there's a real appreciation for it. And I still enjoy waking up to it every single day. The shade is just translucent enough to let in light without people being able to see in from the outside. I just hit that remote first thing in the morning and start my day. I hope you enjoyed this little quick look into some of my favorite things. And if you wanna connect with me further, hit that Zoom link down below in the description and book some time. And if you're a subscriber, that means I'll see you in just a couple days for another brand new video. But until then, live well, and I do hope to see you again very soon.